This farmland in the Netherlands is a giant science experiment. Instead of fresh water, Mark van Rijsselberg is pumping thousands of liters of salty diluted seawater onto his fields. He's basically trying to kill his crops. <laughs> we kill plants because uh, we want to test them which variety or which type of plant is the best of uh, growing under saline conditions. And uh, that's, that's what we try to, to test here. We put in a lot of plants in the field and then we put, in, put them in fresh water and in seawater and all the varieties between it. And then we see which variety is surviving and which variety is dying. And against all odds, some of Reiselberg's crops are thriving, especially his potatoes. Reiselberg's experiments could prove to be the answer to increasingly salinated freshwater reserves, helping thousands of coastal farming communities tackle climate change. We shipped potatoes to Pakistan, four varieties who are really salt tolerant, and we are going to grow them there. Why Pakistan? Because they only have a small uh, area, three million hectares of land, where they can't grow any plants anymore and they want to have salt tolerant crops to grow there. And if the potatoes grow in Pakistan, they could potentially thrive in other areas with elevated salinity levels, producing produce on land that was thought to be dead. Reiselberg is testing a variety of crops and subjecting them to different concentrations of salt. Many are proving to be resilient, especially his favorite, the carrot. Uh, it's a miracle. I mean, it shouldn't be a carrot. It should be dying. Uh, if we look at the data that are available in the world at the moment. But seeing is believing, and a sustainable, albeit saltier, global food supply could be a reality in the years to come.